Hi guys, so I want to do a kind of updated video for you guys on how I give an ICU report. I want to do an example for you guys. I did one kind of that was more geared towards med surge, which I will leave the links down below to the videos that I did on that. And now I want to do an ICU one since I'm working in the ICU now. And I'm just going to jump right in and get started. Um, this is a made up patient. This is all fa fake information, but it's all very ICU-y. And if you want to get the report sheet that I use in the ICU, that link will be down below as well. So you can kind of see the report sheet that I use every day on when I'm working. So I'm just gonna be reading off my phone because I have it all in here. So this is patient so-and-so um, in room 10. This patient is 65 years old. He's a full code. He has no known allergies. Uh, he was admitted um, two days ago on whatever date two days ago was <laughs> um, for a COPD exacerbation. This patient has been smoking for 50 years, two packs a day, um, has history of asthma, CHF, AFib, di type 2 diabetes, as, long as, as well as hypertension. Vital signs wise, this patient has been afebrile all shift. Their heart rate has been in a, from about 100 to 120. Um, blood pressure has um, been slightly hypertensive, about at 140s. Uh, neurologically, um, they're intubated. When I did their sedation vacation earlier, they were um, able to follow commands. Pupils were um, equal, brisk, and reactive, and um, they were able to respond to my voice. Cardiac-wise, um, he's been going in and out of AFib and normal sinus rhythm, um, but mainly has been AFib this my shift. Respiratory-wise, uh, he was intubated um, when he was admitted in the ER two days ago, he's on FiO2 of 40%, PEEP of 5, rate of 16, tidal volume of 450. Uh, breath sounds are diminished throughout but clear. GI-wise, he's got an OG tube that is hooked up to low intermittent suction. I've been getting lots of greenish bile um, out, only about 200 for my shift. Um, GU. He's got a Foley. His urine output has been anywhere from about 50 to 80 an hour. Um, he does get Lasix once in the evening and uh, the urine's been clear yellow. Skin wise, he's got just some mild skin tears on his bilateral arms and some bruising on his shins. He's got a, um, for lines, got a right triple lumen IJ with CVP. He's got two peripheral IVs, um, both in the ACs, both are 20 gauges bilaterally. Um, he's got an A line in the right radial artery. Meds wise, he's on a DILT drip going at 5. Um, he's also getting normal saline with 20 of K at 100 an hour. I've had to replace his mag and his FOSS. Those have been re replaced. You'll have lab draws on your shift. Uh, Imaging wise, he did get a chest x-ray today, which was stable, no worsening. Um, lab wise, his mag was low at 1.9. Um, his boss I replaced already and is now, I already did the redraw and now it's back up to 2.6. All our labs are, are pretty stable. Um, he's got the intensivist on his case. He's got renal. He's got um, pulmonologist and um, his wife is at the bedside. Her name is Nancy. She's his power of attorney. He also has two daughters and two sons which have been at the bedside intermittently today but have gone home for the evening. The plan for him is to start weaning him from the vent tomorrow and um, just maintain his heart rate under control. So that's kind of a typical report. I just winged it. I didn't write any information down. I was just going off my report sheet. So I could have said certain things in there that may have been a little different or may have, I don't know. But that is pretty much a typical report for the ICU, give or take some things here and there. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time.